many times and to see some of our own get to summit even through voting or e just through voting in general it's great to see that they were especially where charlie has come from you know from his beginning as a player I've, i'm a broken record at this point i told the story so many times he came from that little fox kid who said he one day would and eventually he did he wanted to prove everybody that one day he will be one of the best in the world and he now is and for him to get the summit he has a chance to show everybody what he's made of one of one of the if not arguably the best wolf main in the world at summit as such a historic one it's going to be excellent to see here but this is one player i wish you would have seen at summit and maybe he'll get through there through the lcq it is going to be oh G3 yeah Dom absolutely elegant here the rematch yeah oh yeah you're right it is the rematch mm -hmm. huh <clears throat> yeah absolutely man this is definitely going to be uh this is going to be interesting here because we talked yeah. about how Angel versus Elegant is very much a projectile zoner versus a close range combat quarter character. Projectile zoning and destroyed zoning are two different things. And you can tell where Elegant and Luigi as a character suffer in that regard. You can see how Dom is able to shut that down and the aggression from Elegant about while simultaneously getting his combos from his projectiles. I've said this before if you guys have watched me. It's the complimentary projectiles that help out Dom, but it is that whip that is the true king of the show. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like T3 Dom's like one of those people who's like kind of like, you know, like screw the matchup tier list, like screw screw that kind of mm -hmm. thing. Like what matters here is like skill and precision and like the way he's just able to oh. kind of like wall out people. But unfortunately, he has one of those recoveries where like you can kind of get gimmed. Exactly. Like and, that. And, and that's kind of what makes, you know, the Belmonts kind of a glass cannon when it comes to being a zoner. You do so well at zoning, but your recovery isn't the greatest. Your damage, your dam the your weight class and the, your fall speed is so good to get combo. Wow, and like talk about that ag aggression I was talking about, like that onslaught of uh of moves that he just threw out to kind of like get him get him down there and like keep him from recovering. Oh, oh. So, that, so that that was a read? Reading how elegant was trying to directional air dodge or just mash out. Like smash the, yeah. Exactly. And he would have ended up above where I was smashed with a connect wow. again. Wow. Elegant. Oh, man. my God. Elegant oh. stands up and, like, stretches. <laughs> you see that? Oh, he's, <laughs> right he's now? feeling like, himself. Like, he, like, he like, stood up there and stretching. He's feeling himself. Go off, King. Oh, my gosh. Is that 171, too? I, I, I thought T3 Dom would have closed the sock out by yeah. now. Yeah, and okay, there we go. And you see that angled forward air? Because at that point, forward smash won't work anymore. And the angled forward air is going to be good on how the high percent works. So Dom also understanding how to use holy water in those situations here, man. But he is taking across the stage. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what? rough. That's rough. So really? that there, dude, was just enough to put Dom off the stage. If Dom had gone for an angle forward air for the tether grab, he would have been fine. But unfortunately, he went for the up either, and that was kind of rough. Gosh, Victor and Simon have like so much less less drift on that move than like I, I think. Oh every yeah, time. that's what I'm saying. Like they have poor. That's so brutal. The recovery options aren't that great. Sure, they're not the worst in the world, but they're not that great. And then their landing options is what really make the character such a such a glass cannon. Yeah. Your combo food, your weight, your landing options all together, it makes it really hard. And Elegant knows I gotta get him at that landing option. I gotta juggle him, and he knows that's how you gotta do it. Elegant takes game one here in grand finals with T3 Dom looking to see if he can put anything on the board. Elegant is coming in this with momentum, and he knows he's tired of losing to Dom. This has historically been a rough matchup in terms of player and character. Yeah, definitely. Oh, man. All right, we'll see what Dom's got to show here. Of course, this is the Richter Extraordinaire against, of course, the Luigi Extraordinaire. What a way to just get off the shield there but, and then go into the back end knowing I get center stage and Elegant's already off to the ledge. Yep, and there's the there's the, the ride back to 99. I like that. He kind of backs off. Unfortunately, he kind of maybe wanted to cross to hit Elegant on the way back. That's a tornado. Great DI coming off from Dom. That's why I'm not surprised he's not dead. That's good. Yeah, I like good, that. Good. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if just eating that shield is, uh, is worth it. No, and he, and he, he says that. Those are those quick evaluation moments you have to make at a moment's notice. Off uh, smash? No, oh, up no. Oh, missed the back of here. Nice. Saves that jump for that last second opportunity. Great play from T3 Dom. But Elegant still hunting here as he has him at that high death percent. Yeah, looking a little back bit there? looking a little bit better uh, this game for sure. He's, he's uh, kind of having a little bit more of the... Uh, Stage control right now, but he's just like misreading a couple of those those aerials. Is that oh. gonna do it? No, again, yeah. Just like I don't know if it's uh, if it's just like Elegant's mm. amazing DI or just like he's reading it wrong. But he's had like two or three different like, but I felt like were confirmed kills, but uh, they, he kind of dropped them. There what we go. Yeah, yeah. 
At, at the ledge, we'll be popping off, uh, unfortunately, from the ledge, and then the back air, the, the way it's angled, will work. Uh, rough choice for down here, trying to go for that Nair, just trying to get himself back towards center stage. But also, the things that you can do with Nair as a combo confirm would have been great for Dom just to slowly get back in there. But Elegant was going to read that out and pretty much put Dom at that higher percent. Unnecessary damage for Dom, but looking like he has a... Oh, no, never mind. He had a chance to juggle Elegant there, even with the up tilt, and possibly get a read. Yeah, yeah good, good. No, no jump there, but it immediately just goes for the classic tether. Yeah, he needs to space himself just a little bit closer inside to uh, Gim Dom, like, like, like he's trying to do. Go for up tilt, too, because look at the way that he sees Elegant coming back on the stage. This is going to be a forward air, but he narrowly misses oh it with my the gosh, that, was, that was almost such a good bait. Yeah. Oh, the SD. It's hard, too, because you wanted to avoid everything the way that Dom is putting all the projectiles on out to in play. They're all set up. You can confirm them to a back air and up air. Dom knows these percents, and he knows how to keep Elegant guessing each time. Yeah, absolutely. If you're a uh, T3 Dom right now, this is definitely the position you want to be in. But as soon as I say that, oh my gosh, commentator's curse. Oh? Nice. Okay, no conversion. So forward tilt there just because, okay, Elegant might be trying to react after that cross. And either way, you still have center stage control. Oh, that's potentially big here for Elegant. As yeah. Able to get this combo. Like I said, you're such combo food for a lot of characters, and Luigi is one of them. Yeah, All there right. we go. Again, no. He saved the jump. Yeah, he saved the jump. That's yeah. What, uh, yeah, he knows. Okay. Nice, and like you said earlier, man, you don't, you don't want to take that much shield damage. You put it just best to roll away and come back. Yeah, just kind of reevaluate re the situation after you kind of reset the neutral. Um, that dash attack, though, man, it, it gets you off stage so good. All right, yeah, he changed up his timing right there, but still wasn't quite enough to uh, go for that forward air gimp like he's been trying to do. <gasps> okay, oh, that my was scary. Yeah, he was, that tech read could potentially be yeah. yeah. All right. Good, good patience, good patience, good patience. Dom looking to reverse this a little bit here. No angle back here for Dom as he kind of covered oh, that Oh, is that going to be it with Cyclone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and you can see how like, T3 Dom was actually being super like, respectful of uh, you know, the state of disadvantage he was in. And he was playing super patiently. He was doing a lot of things right, but there were just a couple wrong reads that could have yeah. actually, I, could, I think, it's, given that win. And it's rough, too, because given the way that the way Luigi floats in the air, the way that Elegant can change things at, at a moment's pace, I think Elegant's coming to a hole and realizing, like, cool, any of these projectiles that Dom hits me with, he will combo off of in, in some percents. So I have to do my best to ultimately avoid them. Once I do that, I can look to take control from Dom away right. as much as possible. And that's what Elegant did, dude. That's how he was able to make that comeback. All right, a little bit of a momentum start, actually. Uh, this time coming from a T3 Dom. <laughs> getting the opening at 0 to 73. Oh, he's got to watch himself, yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh, I thought he actually, yeah, I thought he <laughs> lost it all right there. I like that up throw to try to go for an up air and possibly read the air dodge here, but the back throw would have been better just because you wanted oh. to go off the stage. Yeah, that frame trap forced him to, oh. to air dodge, to so yeah. not take that damage, and that was exactly what he wanted, now he's up a stock. Okay, here we go, here are the Dom combos now. Um, Elegant, you know, still having a fair amount of momentum, you know, he's been doing great so far, and he hasn't been losing his, his uh, composition, you know. You, you haven't seen it in, in his gameplay at all. He's still playing uh, just like he was against, like, Marcos and before. Um, but now we do see uh, T3 Dom have a very healthy lead. It's just a matter of how long he can uh, keep it up while putting up the exact pressure he needs. Yeah. And it is about keeping that pressure. There's going to be an up air. Second one is going to be missed, but T3 Dom looking to get back on there. I like that empty hop here. Yeah. Faking out an aerial to go for the grab. And look at that. He gets control right back in his hands. I like that attempt to the read against Elegant, too. He sees how he has Holy Water. Elegant might be trying to jump in aggressively. Oh, very good, oh. very good. So that was good on Dom. He wanted to, he wanted to go for back air, but unfortunately he just narrowly mistimed it and he could not get a back air whatsoever. Oh my god, what an option for Elegant. Does it like run up to him like that? Oh, fantastic back air. Great DI, though, from Elegant uh, surviving the situation. Yeah, it's back in that axe. I'm going to do much for you, but... but uh, <laughs> now T3 Dom up uh, two stocks. He's sitting at only 64%. Could Dom be the one to kind of reverse this situation, or are we going to see uh, Elegant take a fall from one game and then go straight back to Bulldoze into the competition? We'll see. I mean, he definitely proved that against Marco, right? You get one, son, and then the rest is going to be all mine. That's going to be no area. Oh, my gosh. Are we going to see a three stock? This is actually... I like the fact that Dom hasn't given up into Elegant's up smash, and Elegant knows yeah. I could get Oh, the there we go. Sorry, I had to pop no, up a bit. No, no. <laughs> Oh, it is a three stock. Wow. Mm, Dom responds in kind, man. He's not going to go without a fight. Oh, my gosh. Super, super well done. Let's see where uh, where Elegant 
takes it because after that one victory that Marcos had, uh, Elegant really changed it up stage wise. So we'll see if we go to yeah, town. City yeah. Or not. I feel like we might go to town, but maybe he'll run it back. That is the question here. What is the stage choice? You have Smash or Smash Bros. Okay. So smaller stage, less space for Richter to move around and effectively try to avoid you altogether. But also, as the, at the same time, Richter can kill you early percents. If you're elegant, man, this is a good stage. But I think he would be changing it. Okay, Town and City. All right, bigger stage then, more space to move around altogether. So we'll see here. Game four. This is a pretty big game here. This will either be the bracket reset for Elegant that he's looking for, or it is going to be a game five scenario on Dom's hands here. Starts here off in Town and City. Dom having plenty of space to move around, but Luigi as well to avoid projectiles. This time, a little bit of, bit of change of pace in the game here. Starts off with those fireballs to lead in, and this time, Harmonix, it's going to be Elegant leading up with such a strong start. Yeah, absolutely. Wait, I looked away I looked away for like one second. I thought we were going to Smashville. <laughs> Town and City is the name of the game here. Oh my god, see, that's exactly what I thought. Okay. Wow, yeah, I looked away. I got really confused for a second. But yeah, we are on uh, Town City, and this is definitely where, uh, I said, like I said before, like Elegant loves to uh, take people here when he uh, loses the game. This is definitely a very common pick for him. He feels very comfortable here, uh, especially with the options that he has when the stage uh, changes. But this is a very even game so far right now. Uh, we'll see if uh, Dom can clutch this one out or if Elegant's going to stomp it out again. Man, that onslaught of just like like oh. the frame data of like the aerials that Richter has is actually it's so it's so scary. Oh my gosh, he almost ate that axe too. Oh, but is he, that he death? no no no. Uh, he ate the holy water, but he's still able to survive that forward air with the cross coverage too. Fantastic frame trap. Nice. Sets up holy water to kind of cover his tracks as he grabs the ledge here. What a quick nair to back air, seeing how he pops off. And no nair again off of the cross too. Oh, again, looking for an opportunity here to get a grab. That's a back air, nice. Dom only hitting the narrowly the inside of it, but still, damage has been done. Elegant looking to slowly buy himself back onto the stage. One thing that I did like about Elegant when, we, when he started off is the use of fireballs to get into Dom, and that proved out well from the beginning here. I kind of want to see if we can go back to that game plan to give Dom something to move around. No, yeah. see, <laughs> again, I, I, I know, Elegant's was, so ambitious. He just wants to close out that stock. No, and it's good too because like it's an anti-air, right? If your opponent tries to spot dodge, you hold it a little longer. But this is the third time that we've seen Elegant try to go for that, and Dom is no slouch. Yeah, you gotta give him the respect. All right, Elegant, no tor no landing tornado here. Yeah, good patience. He almost ran straight into that cyclone. All right, looking for a landing. Up, that's up, up, yeah, up, that's uh, rough. Yeah. And that's the thing. Both characters actually have some pretty rough time landing, too. One of Luigi's main landing options, unfortunately, is pretty up. It is pretty busted, in my opinion, but it's still an option that can be read out. But an up smash will catch the landing here in elegance. Yeah, he's so great at calling those out. Um, but, like, you know, like, one of the, you know, one of the getting themselves back down option that uh, Dom obviously has is that down air that leads into the confirm. But, of course, you have to be super smart about that. Nice. Slow. Empty hop here for the back air and the neutral air to kind of cover. Of course, Dom can confirm that nair into an angled back air or forward air, depending on the DI on that one. Man, Dom is covering all the bases here. Elegant looking for a landing. Nice. Using that air dodge, he doesn't see that center stage is clear yet. Let's get back here to the corner and reset myself when I can. Yeah, absolutely. Dom, well, Dom once again in a state of uh, great advantage right now. I like I that. See, we start seeing the fireballs. You want to give Dom something to move around here. You don't want to have him have all that space. Right, not too stagnant, not too stale of a, exactly. of a neutral. You definitely want to have him like wall out some stuff, or at least contest with some of the things that he's throwing out. Good match to get out, but Elegant at 123. He's definitely got to be super smart about this. He wants to close out the stock, but so does T3 Dom. He's uh, he's definitely looking to snuff out and squash this. Uh, That's a down throw mix up energy. here. Mm, yeah. Yeah, this momentum that Elegant has, like, is it getting snuffed out right now? And it, that's what it's coming down to. Okay, but yeah, another stock being claimed by that, uh, that up smash. Like, while not impossible. Mm, okay, yeah. On the <laughs> Again, right? That's what I'm about to speak. Um, but yeah, fantastically, uh, fantastically done. T3 Dom closing out that game as well. All right, Elegant kind of in deep thought here. Game five? Yeah. You, you gotta think about the, the pressure he's feeling at this moment in time. He wants the reset. This, yeah. Like I said, this has historically been a rough matchup for Elegant, not in terms of just character, but also player, the way that Dom plays. 
this Richter. And you can kind of see the difference in both characters in terms of composition here, man. Dom, even when he's getting comboed, he just stays composed. He knows his game five. He knows anything can happen here. Yeah, absolutely. Especially, like, back-to-back -back games like that of just having such a strong domination over, over his opponents. Like, throughout those games, like, now going to game four, uh, being on the loser's side, uh, he's definitely reevaluating, man. Yeah, this could be a reverse sweep from Dom, man, and Elegant does not want to fall into that. Quick up air confirm after the Holy Water. Cross to cover that if he potentially gets out, man, but Dom was such a strong lead. Elegant finally some aerial, but not enough. Double back air to the dash attack here to push Dom off the stage. Yeah, do you think he needs to do you think he needs to go back to that just like unforgiving like just aggression or do you think like he just needs nah, to play it safer? So he gets like to, right there, like yeah. <laughs> he finally gets the back air changing out how things are played from the ledge against Dom, which is good adaptation. But for Elegant, you kinda have to play this a little bit more pace because if you are too raw on the aggression, man, let's not forget, man, T3 Dome is not gonna let you be aggressive the entire time. He's got all these projectiles to be out in play and such a disjoint. Yeah, absolutely wait, didn't Oh, what Didn't a he get three stocked here earlier? Yeah, he did. He took him back here? Interesting. Oh my gosh! Like the last couple remaining frames of that. Wow, okay, so that's why he's throwing out the, the four there. I didn't yeah, he's looking for something to clank against one of those predictiles. Oh Elegant has done gosh. his homework, man. He has been in the lab. Yeah, wow, that's crazy. Oh, great DI. Still not dead. He had a whopping 194 even. Oh, man, something's got to get here. But Elegant, he knows. If he's, the longer he stays alive, the more frustrating it will get for Dom. I know, but he just wants to put on that little bit of damage before he can, before closing out that stock. Oh. Again, actually living oh, nine. with the DI, getting around that. Oh, my gosh, like master Cyclone. I like that from Elegant too, using double roll to just get into the Richter's zone, and then that's forcing Dom to be towards the ledge. Oh Tough trade. Gosh, he's been so good about avoiding this onslaught, though. He's been, like, making his way there. He's at 225. This is crazy. I would never picture Luigi living against No, not, not, not against Dom right now with all the stuff that he throws out. That's crazy. But, uh... He's managed I, to put a little bit of damage, you know. Yeah. Like, he's just been struggling to find his way in, but he's been so safe about it, too, which is really good. He's put a little bit of damage. Uh, we'll see if we can get back to stage this time Axel again. Kill. Yeah. yeah, I was going to say, Axel kill. All right. Nice. Oh, the Holy Water to cover him from the ledge. This time, Elegant's going to challenge him off stage out of the way. What a ping pong. Yeah, absolutely. Percent is now uh, rising. But he's still, he's still in a decent lead, but it's the gap is closing. Ever so slightly. Man, now I feel like it's a little bit more in T3 Dom's uh, kind of like taking the lead here. He, yeah, he's the one keeping the aggression now while oh, yes. Elegant's trying to like weave his way in. All right, that cycle going to put him in a good position though, keeping him above. Oh, oh landing there, there too. Into the aerial. Dom narrowly missing here, but Elegant looking for a way to just try to land. The Nair is not enough. Sticky hitbox, but not able to beat out anything from Dom. The forward air? Yeah. Yeah. This is rough for, for Elegant. Elegant potentially on his on his tournament uh, stock here. He's got to close out the stock soon, just so that he doesn't get as much damage put on him by the time he evens out the stocks. Yeah. Um, but if you're T3 Dom, you're doing a great job walling him out, picking at him from afar, and uh, doing your best to kind of play it safe oh. while keeping that stock lead. And then, yeah, and Elegant just trying to understand. He trying to get an up smash against T3, but I think one thing he's got to learn by now at this point is that Dom is just so good with crossing up with these back airs and forward airs. Yeah, absolutely. Alright, Elegant with a chance here at the ledge. Oh! I like the use of Zare here, just trying to keep as much stage as possible. Missing the back air, that was a good read. Oh, he there it the is. Landing. There it is. Oh, God, he's moving. He's feeling the momentum. All he has to do is get one grab. Potentially, this could this be, could be yeah. it. This oh, could potentially Dom be able it. to get away. And oh, the tech. no, yeah. I like that. He tech rolls in because he knows Elegant might try to extend that with a dash attack. This is pretty much close currents here. Oh, my gosh. To this is so close. This is either a reset or a game. Oh, my gosh. Only a six percent deficit now rising a little bit higher nice i like how he fakes out yeah. he knows elegant is above him don't go for the upper just yeah i want to see his landing yeah that was a good bait yeah cross up all right elegant looking to try to get back on the stage the air dodge no, oh, no! And, the the and the reset elegant coming oh, in what an unfortunate oh. whiff for dom he was just like yeah. he was right above him Oh my gosh! But it was it was such it was, great awareness Dom, from Elegant. It was too. Dom's game to win, man. At the last minute, Elegant just says, "All right, cool. If you're gonna mess this up, I'm not gonna hesitate when the time comes." Elegant finally finding the reset he has been looking for this entire grand final. 
he has gone toe to toe before Dom and he's been on the losing end, but finally, even if it's just a reset, Elegant finally gets one and it's Dom giving it up right there. Yeah, right. you can see Dom shaking his head. He knows that was his game. He knows that was his game to win. That and you know what? You have to, and you, it's the thing of like, okay, Dom has been so safe up until that point. Right, you're right. Yeah. Like he'll 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 go for a lot of empty hops to read Elegant to see if he's gonna air dodge. And Elegant doesn't air dodge, he's either moving in front of him or behind him when he got the back air. But that, that one prime opportunity, man, he just slips up on that up B. And it's not even a slip up, it's like, okay, I thought I got this read. Let me end it over with the up B here, and Elegant was not going to be confirmed by that. Yeah, absolutely. He was like at a more than appropriate yeah. percent to like make that sort of judgment call to throw that out. Exactly. Absolutely. You know, like no one, no one's going to call that out better than him. Like exactly. he definitely thought it he was, was no that. hail mary. It was definitely something that he thought was calculated. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, nevertheless, though, bracket reset. So we got another best of five with the same people, and uh, again, we are starting at uh, <laughs> we're starting here back again at FD. Uh, which is definitely, uh, maybe they're both just like comfortable with it now, even though, you know, uh, he did get previously three stocked, but we'll definitely see a uh, very strong uh, start from actually both people. No, this is, uh, this is pretty even so far. All right. Calling out that roll with the, the back air. Oh my gosh. Like, it'll never stop being amazing to me to see, like, how, like, precise uh, Dom is with the, with the aerials that that his character has. Yeah, the like, way that he's able to get those angles, too, with each forward air and back air. Yeah, it's always just so impressive, and it's just so fun to watch because, like, those moves are so quick, and, like, they're not active for very long, but they're so powerful. Uh, just like that, closing out that stock. It's also Dom understanding that he has put enough pressure to condition his opponent to go for such a landing option. That's a great way to use cross, because look at how much that covers up against Elegant right there. Elegant only able to clank with the neutral air. Yeah, Had he had not gone for an air, that would have not clanked. That cycle and closing out? Yeah. All right, closing out that stock, even it's straight back up. Elegant uh, not yet been able to get a, uh, a zero to death off the uh, down throw conversion. Oh, correct? you're a dom, man. You know how to get away from that as yeah. much as possible, man. You know you are combo food when it comes to that one. That's a forward air. Nice. Sets up the cross again here, and then Dom goes back for that center stage control. What yeah. a play, too. Always understanding that positioning when he's at on stage. Yeah, I know for our viewers, they can't exactly see it right now, but, like, you can see. Oh, my gosh. There's um, that zero to death. Yo, Elegant will find a way. When there is a will, especially for Elegant, there is a way. Yeah, but what I was about to say for our viewers at home, uh, they can't exactly see it right now, but, like, there is just, like, so much physical movement from both players right now. They are both so, like, heavily into this. Like, when, when they get in, no way. Ooh, what a message to send right that from that was the reset. hardest commentator's curse I think I've ever said. That was so, <laughs> that was so quick. Oh, my gosh. Two, I, I like, so bad. you got two, like, double zero to death combos from there. Oh, crazy. Oh, my gosh. But yeah, because uh, we don't have a player cam going while, you know, the uh, the match is going itself. But, like, <laughs> both of them just, like, as soon as like, a stock get closed off and they have a little bit of time mm -hmm. to kind of just, like, recover themselves. Like, they're up, like, jumping and stretching, like, mid-set. They're so, like, physically you, active you have, while they're playing. <laughs> you have to keep your, your, your mind and your body, like, ready. Like, if you have to move, if you have to get up, if you, if you have to, you know, fix your back, do so. Anything to win the game, man. You don't want to be sitting in that chair discomforted at all. Yeah, the, the, I mean, yeah, of course. Yeah, absolutely. You're totally right. Like, the, the mental force to get this far in bracket. Um, yeah, do what you can. Get a cheek of water, stand up, stretch. You, whatever it takes, man. You earn that spot in grand finals. Make sure you're trying to secure all the way to the full victory. Yeah, mental field fortitude is definitely the game. Both these players have it. But um, back to the game at hand, you know, going back to uh, FD again. I guess both players are just like, opting to, to run it back. But unfortunately right there, uh, Elegant not making it back. And now he's down... Uh, a stock while T3 Dom's at a pretty healthy percent and putting it back on to Elegant himself. Yeah, I definitely have to say this about Dom. I have been enjoying him, seeing him use Holy Water as a wall to slow down Elegant whenever he sets, resets himself at the ledge. And that's an excellent play from Dom because you know you don't want to give Elegant that time in the day and that space. You want to keep him pressured at the corner, but Elegant will finally get this back throw. Seeing that dash attack, man, that has such good cooldown, such terrible cooldown, I'm sorry. And that's good for Elegant to get that back throw and the stock. Oh, 
Oh, that's a lot of pressure. And good for him to go for that angle forward there, too. Just understanding how high Elegant was going to be. Yeah, absolutely. Dom's definitely noticed that Elegant has been super, super, super patient on the ledge, uh, waiting out that, you know, um, that holy water every time. And, like, Dom's been, been oh. Like, oh, my gosh. Done a great job calling those jumps Up and there? stuff like that. Yeah. Up there's going to do it. Good friendship as well. Are we going to see it again? Nice. What a change up for Elegant, too. Not going to be the up B here, but Elegant looking for the damage in terms of percent. Able to get that combo, but able to get the stock oh here on God. Dom. It's a Nair back air. Yeah, and the cross two to cover that. And that, that was so smart. He forced Elegant to jump, and the axe was there. Okay, Elegant and not looking to land here. Like that. Close the distance here with the roll. Elegant is looking for an opportunity for Dom to just go for it. An empty aerial or possibly a mistake here, and that would be good for Elegant to get a grab. Oh my gosh, so that singular hit of the uh, the active hitbox of Oh, that was, that, was, that was smart. Oh. That double spot dodge, man. Give it to him. Don't give him anything. Dash attack with the full corner carry. Yeah, super good mix. Oh, he's waiting. Yeah, he's waiting. He's waiting. Good on Elegant. He wanted Dom to completely give up on that last moment. I was smashed on the cross, on the roll. Elegant has stealing a lot of control here. Yeah, he was up like a, he was up like a considerable amount, but then... uh. Team is so even. Oh. oh my gosh! Very well done. That's so much coverage, man. The, yeah, that's, the fact that's that the insane. cross will go to the corner if he even if he goes for. Oh. Yeah, it's like one of those situations where it's like every time you think you've seen Dom do something, he can do something else like right away, or yeah, or, 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 yeah. or, or just do the same thing timed slightly differently. It, it, yeah, ex like, exactly. But not only that, it's the fact that cool. I'm using cross to cover roll neutral getup. I'm using axe to cover the jump if he gets hit by the cross, it'll still, it'll confirm into the cross axe, and if he doesn't get hit by the cross, if he jumps, he gets hit by the axe. If he doesn't, then I have the forward toe, I'm still in stage control. Yeah. Dom knows how to move excellent with these projectiles. Yeah, it's, it, 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 it's amazing. It's just like, and like, like, like I said, even if it's just the same, the same exact thing, all he has to do is just like throw things out at a, just a slightly different interval, and you've called out and taken a stock. Yeah, <laughs> look at the way that cross is covered, Dom, even on the landing there too. I think that's the beautiful thing about Dom using cross too, is he looks for it to be a combo breaker, but to over to also cover ex existing planes of space where Elegant might be when he tries to punish him. Man, watching this like makes me really question what the matchup is on this. Like, oh, this is in my opinion, this is definitely Belmont favor. In my, it's it's always. It's oh yeah, always, I'm, I'm talking like 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 value. Like, do you think it's like 60 40, 55? Like 45, like I think 55, 45. Yeah, let's say, okay. Yeah, I cannot say 60, 40. Oh, what a great job! Yeah, able. To, I do, and that's the reason why I cannot say 60, 40. I think this is 55, 45. Yeah, cause I, I, I honestly don't know. Like watching this, like but, it's but also at the time you have to also consider after the matchup. It's also based on player too. It could yeah, be 100%. It, it could be a 60, 40, but Elegant is just that good <laughs> with this character. Yeah, right? yeah. Like, he I'll, makes I'll, this a lot closer than it is. Yeah, of course, there's going to be some variable of subjectivity when it comes into it. But both these players are just like so fantastic. You know, they, these are the front runners for their characters. Exactly. This is such a like a, such a crazy thing to see. It's almost, it's almost like watching chess sometimes, like seeing like this high level of play. Yeah, every 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 move being used to cover another move, to cover this move, to cover a landing. Yeah, right, elegant shield getting a little small though. It's almost scaring me. All right, elegant looking to jump in here. Yeah, he's patient every single time. Oh, oh. that was he's just the starting frames of Cyclone, but not enough. All right, air dodge short center stage. Good on these fireballs to make do here. He's looking to get Dom to move a little bit towards the corner, and you can see elegant slowly trying to fight for that one here. No Zero comes in with a couple chops here, and he's able to get a small combo. I like that. Gets a, gives a little bit of respect to the Holy Water. Is he going to fight back with it here? Oh, good Great play, yeah. Oh, wow, what a fantastic match. Oh, yeah, the rebound. Okay. Elegant going for that deep recovery. I like that. He hasn't seen the axe. That's usually one of those oh, good moves that you see Dom use to cover Slightly misspaced that back here, though. Yeah. Oh, is that going to be it? No, slightly no. misspacing the aerial again. He's already grabbed the ledge, too. Here, but Elegant finally gets a lucky break. Yeah, and this is what, I was, this is, this is what I was saying earlier, is that like he's been doing everything right, like getting the setups right. He has to confirm, and then T3 Dom, just this, this set and last set has just been like ever so slightly off of his mark for stealing the kill. Yeah. A lot sooner than he could. 
but I think it's just a it's just a matter of him respecting uh, Elegant's ability to get get out of a lot of the stuff and just respecting Luigi as a character. Oh, that scooped yeah. him up! Wow. Oh, even stocks here. This is a big game too. Essentially, you want to win this game to put yourself at a really good position to basically win the entire set here. But Elegant has so much to say here. What damage? And he reads. Oh, the with the gentleman's jab too. All right, now Elegant's playing with power. I like that hold the shield here, looking to see how Dom is going to be in the air and follows him up kindly with a, with a oh, missed up air, but still nonetheless. Yeah, going for that call. I actually thought he was going to... Oh, what a, what a catch. What a catch. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. I didn't stock. think he was dead. Yeah. yeah, it's not the stock, but it's the fact that he still got him off the stage. Oh, he's only at 132 now. Dom's got to do something. He's not dead here either, but... Uh, nice. It's, oh, it's, oh, no! no! That was so he throws cross that way, so he can cover that with that that level of uh, plane. But the problem is he was too far off to the right. He just executed it a tad too early. Yeah, did I just see him signal to run it back again? Yeah, going straight back to FD, man. Both yeah, of them are not budget. They're both they're they're both confident in their uh, their capabilities on the stage and. Elegance at set point, man. He is literally finally having the chance to actually be dumb. Yeah, this set has been <laughs> so back and forth. Like yeah, they're yeah. trading like blow for blow, and like it's been really close. Yeah, we could see game five, or we could see Elegant claim the MSM throne. Man, he has been looking for a W. You know, Dom has also been wanting to come back, possibly on the three peat of MSMs joining Spargo. Only Dom and Spargo are the only two players so far in the return of offline MSM to have more consistent wins. And I know Dom wants to have that one more win over Spargo, but Elegant have, looking for a win of his own. Could this be the night, man? We have to see Elegant just slowly catching up to I know, and like this, this, this MSM has been so hype. And like we still have with next week's like the big one that everyone here has been talking about all day. Um, okay, not gonna give him quite, very good roll. Okay, spot dodge the shield. Man, they're just like playing around each other, like respecting each other's capability to just kind of get the crazy conversions they can off of like a single interaction. Okay, Elegant overextended just a little bit, and now he's in a uh, off stage. All right, see him calling, trying to call it. Okay, that was good on Dom. He, so I see a lot of these empty hops here. Had he had gone a little bit further here for Elegant, he would have been Elegant. Yeah, first. yeah. Yeah, like I said, it, it's just been like this, like. Slight errors in like micro spacing, but I don't even I don't even want to say that they're errors. Very good conversion right there. Great call out. Normally that would be um, so high, but we've seen it like two times. Yeah, night, yeah, right? absolutely. Yeah, it just it's just a solid call out. Oh, oh there it is. <laughs> finally, Elegant has been going for so many of those. It's good to see him actually finally, <laughs> finally get one. Um, because you know, he he did it earlier. It's like it's it's a very easy character to kind of like gimp. Yeah. Um, and he's been like he's been going for it, and, like for the spice for everything. You just gotta capitalize off of the kind of recovery some characters have. Good for it throw here, and that's because you just want to get elegant off the stage in general and get stage control all together. All right, elegant having a chance here with the forward air, no neutral air, much for him. But Dom back to setting up his walls. Fine, he catches elegant in the starting frames of Zare back there with this aerial. All right. Very good. I like, how you, I like how he used the down tilt to kind of position himself for the backer. Okay. At this point here in time, you are seeing Dom just seeing, okay, Elegant has a high percent here. How can I force him out? And we see the holy water, the axe, that's the chance here, but he only yeah. gets, yeah. Even if it's so missed. So good. Such yeah. good DI. Even if it's missed, you have to give it to Elegant too. He's able to survive that, but also Dom able to read the able to read that and he's got the portal. Yeah, and you know that's like the third or fourth time I've recognized seeing Elegant do that. If he would just angle the smash attack upward, I think it might connect and, yeah. and take it. Uh, wow. Forward smash here, yeah. Elegant. He's up a stock. It may not be much here, but a stock is the opportunity for Elegant to possibly get this game. Yeah, this is such a potential stock for for T3 Dom. Nice. He tried to get that roll read from, from Dom, seeing that he was in the corner. Usually the panic option. I like that from Dom. Doesn't execute an up B. He's just looking for an opportunity to get back to center stage and establish control. Gets the control here with his back Closing air. It out. Even stocks. Both players switching to all range mode in the chairs. Man. Oh my god, I know. <laughs> they're like, they're moving. They're physically moving so much. Elegant wants to close this out so bad. You can see it and like the way he's moving. Nice. And uh, I like that he doesn't go for a tornado. He goes for the backer for percent, but also the stage control that he gets with it. Yeah. The knockback it's got. 
on a good mix up here against Dom. Dom knows he's got to establish control again. Elliot with a landing tornado. Dom a little bit too close yeah. on that one. Oh my gosh, is this going to be it? This is a bad position. Okay, resetting the neutral. He went over it. Dom's got to be careful on these two. Oh my yeah. gosh, dude. You, you're seeing Dom go for a lot of empty hops here. Elegant will catch that with an up smash at some point or another, and he's not too far behind from it. Okay, committed to the full extension of the move. All right, Dom with some spacing. <gasps> the holy water oh! catching Dom? Okay, that was, that, was, that was crazy. Oh my gosh, the axe. No, it's not going to get it. Oh my gosh, they're both playing so safe right now. Oh! No! Okay, that, you have to give it to Elegant. Oh! oh he stopped what, what kind of interaction? Oh my goodness, dude. 139, 64, oh my gosh, Elegant's in a good spot, but Dom is like, he's still keeping up the pressure. He has to, you can't, you can't, your game plan is so oh, good, you can't give it up. Beautiful call out. All right. No, he, he just, I, I, I can't, I really, yeah, that, oh, yeah, he rolled, yeah, that was just what he yeah. needed, and the pop-off, dude. Go, oh my gosh. Woo! Elegant, <laughs> finally. Oh my gosh, the elegant classic. Dude. He knows, he knows. That he only hates the character. He doesn't hate Dom for it. He knows what the character has caused him so much pain. He finally yeah. gets that one read over Dom. And Elegant will be your MSM winner. Yeah, MSM 239. Uh, very fantastically 